our favorite jokes of the week. While touring the southern border yesterday in Arizona, President Trump signed a plaque commemorating the 200th mile of border wall. You know the border's like 2,000 miles long, right? Seems a little premature. What does the plaque say? To be continued? Trump must be one of those guys who takes the burrito out of the microwave with 40 seconds to go. The ice crystals are refreshing. In a new interview with Fox News, President Trump claimed that former National Security Advisor John Bolton's memoir contains classified government information. Oh, please, you didn't make it past page two. Um, copyright 2020, classified. Published by Simon and Schuster. Definitely shouldn't be telling people that. Schuster's happily married. Yeah, I've seen enough. During his campaign rally in Tulsa over the weekend, President Trump referred to the coronavirus as the, quote, Kung Flu. Man, just when you thought he couldn't get any worse, why did you think that? Following President Trump's use of the offensive phrase Kung Flu to describe the coronavirus, White House Press Secretary Kayleigh McEnany defended Trump yesterday and said Trump is, quote, linking it to its place of origin. It's the same reason Trump refers to McEnany as liar factory. According to a new poll, the most popular choice among college students to be former Vice President Biden's running mate is Senator Elizabeth Warren. What does she have that I don't have? Yelled Amy Klobuchar, who did not expect so many answers. Wait, whoa, 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 one at a time, one at a time. 